peeps, welcome to another Mailbox Monday video. Um, I'm going to make it as quick as possible. I have got um, six or seven more items here for us to open. I've only just got back from the gym, so um, that's why I'm looking so hot and bothered and tired. But don't worry, I can get it done, I can get this uploaded, and I can still cook dinner, because I think I'm doing um, a vegetarian chilli tonight, so mm, that should be really good. Anyway, let me just grab my letter opener. Okay. So yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five envelopes, and um, look at this, a huge parcel, absolutely massive. Four four two seven heavy, this is Manchester Airport, yep, he's just started a video. If you could fly right over his house, please, that would be wonderful, thank you. 4427 Heavy, Manchester Airport, yeah, we'll fly right over his house. Cheers. Okay, so I'm armed with my post-it notes because I get really paranoid about that. Trust me, when anything you send in, your details are secure, they're really, really safe. I make sure that, well, to be honest, they're put onto a computer that's not even connected to the internet. That's how safe they are. As for dates, I don't know. Some of these envelopes came in this spring, some of them came in last autumn, last winter. Um, all I can do is just keep keep going, yeah? Just keep doing it, just keep plowing through them. And don't worry, again, if you haven't had your postcard or badge yet, it will be on its way. And um, as for locos that have been sent in, if you've sent in a loco or a train set or whatever, um, I'm sure it's here, I'm sure it's safe. If you paid the correct postage, I'm sure it's arrived. And I'll do a video on it as soon as possible. But I'm really pleased to tell you that because of all that crew work stuff I did with the Crew Heritage Centre and trademark standards and all of that, um, you'll soon be able to see everything that's been sent in on the Crew Works website. So if you've sent in a loco, it doesn't matter if it's a 50-year-old Triang something or a two-week-old Hornby Collector loco, it'll be there. It'll be on the Crew Works site. You can see it, you can check it's okay. You can see its status and where we're up to with it. And again, if you want to request it back, um, just whatever, for whatever reason, the fastest, it's still the fastest way to get in touch with me is Twitter. The reply time on that is usually just two or three days at the most. Okay, so let's get one of these envelopes open then. The person that sent it in probably recognizes it already. Okay. People, you're getting really good. Nearly everything I open now has your details, your addresses and stuff on a separate little piece of paper, all folded up. Saving me a lot of post-it notes. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Okay, to Will, my name is Joel and I live in... Searic Fregus? Syriac Fregus? Fregus? Oh my gosh, I, I am so sorry. I think I've just offended the entire of Ireland. Um, in Northern Ireland. I've been to, I've been into train sims since I was, oh no, sorry. I've been into trains since I was two. It spelled since wrong, but it's okay. And I'm, um, I am nine. You're my best YouTuber. I'm getting a layout built uh, by my dad. My dad is, building a model shed in my garden. There are lots of trains and homie books and a collector books and I stay in my nan's home at the weekend or at the week sorry and just by the side of where I live is there a train station. I have the same train going past her house at six in the morning. Uh, thank you for reading by Joel Reed. Aww that is a that is really sweet. He's only nine. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, and look, Joel has sent in a picture of the Flying Scotsman. I'll show you a picture of it now. Look at that. That's just adorable. The new Flying Scotsman. And it is, he's got it correct. It's in black. I don't know if it's still in black. I think they've repainted it now. But at the time Joel sent this in, it probably was black. Um, although no, look, it says 2016. And look, he's even sent in an IC82 train as well. <laughs> I'd love my own train. I'd, oh, I was going to say I'd love my own train company, but 
No, that's probably a bad idea. They don't make very much money. Thank you so much, Joel, for sending that in. It's absolutely adorable. Keep it up. Um, if you and your dad ever need any help with any layouts or something like that, um, drop me a message, get on Twitter, um, and please take some photos of it. Do a video on it. Upload it. Send me the link. It'd be awesome to see how you're getting on. Okay, so envelope number two. Okay, so we've got another letter here. Um, no address, that's fine, absolutely fine. To ice Age 2, my name is Oliver Wareham and I am 11 years old. I'm a huge fan of your channel and my favourite steam locomotive is the Mallard, which I got for my birthday. Nice, nice Oliver, very nice. It's got DCC fitted, um, I always got DCC fitted at my local model shop called AC Models in Eastleigh. I have been watching your videos for 8 months now and I have always wanted to send you fan mail. My granddad got me into the hobby, good old granddad. And he showed me his model railway, which you can see on my Mallard review. My channel is called Minute. Oh, MineTube. MineTube 2005. I reckon he's got some Minecraft videos on that. And I would love some advice on how to become successful at reviewing model trains, but unfortunately, I rarely visit my granddad's, meaning I can't do many reviews. But I might be visiting in May. So, oh gosh, in May. So this is probably the uh, this is probably the start of the year. I might be visiting in May, so I'm going to do as many videos as possible whilst I'm there. My favourite video you have done is the DCC Sound Pannier Tank from Trident Trains because my granddad owns a Pannier. What, a full size one? What's his name? <laughs> that I used to think was Duck off Thomas and Friends, but I realised it wasn't, although the Pannier is my second favourite GWR loco after the 14XX. I am also working on a railway in Minecraft that has multiple custom engines. Please keep the videos coming because your videos keep me occupied and give me lots of advice about model railways. Please may you do a review on the 14XX. And there's a little picture of an LNER train on the back. <laughs> Random train. <laughs> Ollie, can I call you Ollie? Or do you prefer Oliver? Well, we'll go with Oliver just in case. Um, Oliver, thank you so much for sending that in. Um, right, okay, I'm back. Sorry, just went to go grab a coffee. So, the 14 double X. Um, yeah, I don't think I've done one actually. And I have had quite a few people ask for it, so I'm sure I can sort that. And yeah, I know. Someone's probably already sent one in. It's probably been sat in the other room waiting there for like 12 months. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure I can do that. And it's wonderful that your granddad got you into the hobby because a lot. I, I chat to all the big companies now, Hornby, Batman, even Hattons and stuff, and one thing that they're all worried about is that not enough people, not enough young people are coming into the hobby. Um, uh, obviously, there's competition. You know, kids today are playing Candy Crush stuff on tablets, they're playing on the PS4, they're, they're basically not getting into the model lawyer ways like we did um, when I was little, because in the 80s computer gaming was only just starting to take off, and in the 70s and 60s pretty much every kid had a model railway. So yeah, I can understand why the companies are worried about it. and it. It really, really winds me up when you have all these miserable old people that, um, oh, Hornby shouldn't have brought out another starter set. Really? Really? Should they just keep making trains that cost eight million pounds so that only, like, five people can buy them? I don't think so. That's not sustainable. Did you not do economics? Do you not, are you not aware of the pyramid? Hmm? The pyramid of... I mean, you know, <laughs> you need loads at the bottom to support all the ones at the top, and I'm sorry, but... The people with millions of pounds are buying the mega expensive trains at the top. Take away all the hundreds and thousands of kids that get starter sets every year and the whole thing falls apart. It's basic economics, honestly. So it's really, really important to keep new people coming into the hobby and the fact that your granddad got you into it, <laughs> it's just awesome. Thank you, granddad. Okay. Envelope number three. It's quite a big envelope, but the letter inside it's not very big. Oh, but it's really cute though. Oh, and there's the address. It's fine. I won't show you that. My name is Will. <gasps> like that, as, as if that's allowed. As if the, the country, as if the government is going to allow another Will. That's, that's unacceptable. <laughs> I'm joking. JK, JK. And I'm nine. Another nine year old. Hi, NCT82. I'm a huge fan of your channel and I love your vids. I'm on the verge of making my own model railway layout. I hope you like my picture of the BR44M7 class. Gosh, 
Okay. Oh, British Rail 044 M7. I hope you get this by. <laughs> That's quite abrupt. Um, P.S. Excuse my terrible spelling and handwriting. Who might know the number? 30029. Um, Will, <laughs> that's really, really cute. And trust me, honestly, your handwriting and spelling is actually really good. I'm very impressed by that. Um, you have included your address. Thank you very much. I will make sure a postcard and a badge are sent out to you. If you have started doing the videos, and you probably have, in fact, you know, you're probably already married with kids and everything by now, but, but, um, please do send me the link. Get in touch somehow, the website, Facebook, Twitter, smoke signal, just get in touch, let me know your link to the channel and everything, and I will go check it out. Thank you. Okay, everything covered up, address, phone number, all covered up. Right, we're good to go. Hi, um, sorry, to ICH2. Hi, I'm Sam, I'm 12 years old, and I've been watching your videos for three years. I find them so entertaining, as they are so amazing and cool. I've been meaning to write to you for about a year now, but I've recently been in my local Panto, Jack and the Beanstalk, which has been very time consuming. Many thanks, Sam Stent, age 12. Haha, <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk, that's awesome. I think I did, um, oh gosh, what was it I did when I was at all? <sighs> oh, um, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, well, same thing basically, pretty much the same story. Um, my favourite train company is Virgin East Coast. Who is your favourite train company? Currently operating. Very clever. If you have time, please can you call me? Um, and Sam has even given his phone number. Okay, but what I will do, Sam, is I'll send out a postcard or badge to you. Um, this is a drawing of the Intercity 25. I give up. It has too many names. <laughs> I live in Paynton, which has a steam railway, and is near the largest model railway, the UK's largest model railway. Wow! Okay, thank you so, so much for that letter, it's really nice. And yeah, you're right, the HST does have lots of names, you can call it the HST, you can call it the Intercity 25, you can call it the Class 43, and I think you can even call it, um, gosh, I'm trying to think, somebody you'll know, somebody will comment below. It was actually given a number, um, a designation before it was class 43. I can't think what it is, but somebody will know. Okay, so once again, thank you Sam for that. That's really, really nice of you to write in. Um, I hope that the production went really well and watch out for a postcard and badge on their way. Folks, we are cracking on. Seriously, I'm on, I'm on to the last, I keep knocking this tree, look. Ah, oh, need a bigger set. We're on to the last envelope already, which is amazing. And then after this, it's just this big parcel. Okay, this is really, really adorable. Dear Will, I'm eight years old, the youngest one today. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your videos. My favorite video is the Black Five Strength Test. Gosh, I think I can only just remember that. I think it's time I did some more strength tests. Um, how many wagons were on the Black Five? I've sent you a Hammer Beads ICH2 design, a diesel. This design is based on your first Hornby train with you in the driving seat. The ice 2 logo is a little hard to see in daylight because it's made from glow-in-the-dark beads and will shine when it gets dark from Kai Johnson. Wow, that is so cool, Kai. And just look at this. Look at what Kai has sent in. It really does look a little bit like a Class 58 and you can see the ice 2 logo as well. That's really, really clever. I am very, very impressed. Um, how many wagons were on the Black Five? I don't know, Kai. I've forgotten. Oh, and actually, sure that I never replied to Sam's question either, did I, on my favourite operator? Um, I guess it would be Virgin. Yes. Yes, it would. Um, people might say that's biased because they zoom past my house every day, but the customer service I found to be pretty good. Um, in my in my experience, the worst company is is probably East Midlands. Probably, it's not due to the trains or even some of the staff, of which some of the staff are lovely, but I've found them to be pretty unreliable. And when something goes wrong, if you have a problem, they don't really want to know and they don't help very much. So I would say, yeah, my favourite is Virgin, and my least favourite is probably East Midlands. But what about you? Tell me, let me know, put a comment below. What company do you find to be the best? 
and what company do you find to be the worst and why? So, yeah, I'm going to have to get into some of this hammer stuff, aren't I? I'm going to have to um, have a go at it myself. Yeah, that's really cool. Thank you, Kai. Um, you have included your address, so I'll get a badge and postcard sent out to you prompo. Promptly? Prompo? Promptly. <laughs> okay, we have the parcel. I'm going in. Wow, okay, very well packaged for a start, I can, I can definitely confirm that. So we've got some bubble wrap, a letter, another letter, and a third letter. I'm hoping they're not letters because they're huge, I'll be here all night. Wow, oh my gosh, some locomotives, oh my gosh indeed. Just look at this. Okay, so that's what's been sent in. Oh, it's Andrew. I know who Andrew is. Yes, Andrew um, gets, um, Andrew's, I, I, I'm in touch with Andrew quite a bit via the Facebook page. Yes, I know, it's always wonderful to put a face to someone's letter and stuff. Hello, Will, slash Ice Age 2. Greetings from the United States, the United States of America. Kansas, to be precise. I have been a fan of your YouTube channel for many years and greatly enjoy your training views and other videos. In particular, I enjoy how you structure your videos and give honest, detailed feedback regarding the packaging and details, as well as any issues you run into with the product. I've been looking forward to the APT videos for some years now. I was excited to see them beginning, especially since I own an APT train pack and I'm lucky to bring it up to the current day model standards as much as possible. Oh my gosh, yes, the APT project, the one that started by Craig, he did it over a year ago. Um, he is sorry that it's taken so long to do part two, He's a teacher, and we've been doing so much with the house to get ready for something I can't tell you. But um, he is going to be bringing you part two, and maybe even part three, of the APT project this Christmas. So stay tuned, people. Trains have been in my blood since I was a young boy, riding the New York City subways and the Long Island Railroad. One engineer actually let me sit up in the cab when I was just five years old and blow the horn at the level crossings as well as let me throttle the train up to leave um, when leaving one of the stations. Something that you would most likely never see in a post 9-11 world today. Yes, yes, that's very, very true. I spent some time in England and Scotland in my uh, younger years visiting relatives. I'm still in love with the old BR blue and yellow. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just iconic, isn't it? It's like, it's like um, the silver of Amtrak or the red of a telephone box in 60s London, you know, it's just, it's right up there, it's just iconic. Riding from Sale on the Altingham branch line, I mean that's like literally just up the road from me, into Manchester Piccadilly and train spotting for hours with my dad before returning to Sale. Travelling to Heritage Lines and Railway Museums, riding miniature railways, there was some, these were some of my fondest childhood memories. I do wish they still used proper locomotives and carriages rather than the Metrolink trams, but I know change is change. Yes, I agree. Um, a lot of people do comment on how they miss actual loco hauled trains, to be honest, and I, I totally agree with that. I'm enclosing two model trains that I'm learning for my permanent semi display in your growing collection. The first is a Mehano GG1 in Pennsylvania red livery. Wow! I describe it as being slightly used condition. It has sat boxed recently after I initially purchased it and ran it on a Christmas layout. It was in running order when I boxed it up and should hopefully only need some lubrication and running in to get it back into shape. The GG1 is my favourite locomotive due to the engine's distinct design. Yes, I agree Andrew, I have never seen anything like that before. This, the wonderful liveries it carried over the years and its mixed use history over its long service life. I'm proud to own other models of it in O, H, O and N scales. And I hope that this one will enjoy its trip across the pond and its time in your collection. The second model is a lifelike Proto 1000 series RDC2 in Amtrak livery. I do adore the Amtrak livery. It's one of my favorite liveries. I would also describe this model as being in lightly used condition as it too has sat box after light usage around a Christmas tree layout. Again, it should only require a little bit of lubrication and running in to get it back into shape. The RDC, or Rail Diesel Car, 
was used by multiple railroads across the US, especially on lines. So this is powered! Oh my gosh, Andrew! I thought this was a coach. I had no idea it was powered, but then, to be honest, it does weigh a ton. Across the United States, especially on lines where trains consisting of an engine and multiple passenger cars were not economically viable. Amtrak inherited a number of units when they took over the majority of the passenger services in the United States back in 71. The RDC2 version had both a passenger section and a baggage section. Hope that you will enjoy both of these models and would love to see a review of one or both of them at some point in the future. If you find the time in your busy video making schedule. I've enclosed some printed documentation regarding the history of both trains as I know you're a fan of the history as well as the real trains. Thank you for your continued videos and I look forward to seeing more of them in my future. <sighs> my contact information is... there we go. Uh, have a wonderful day and happy model railroading. Wow! Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Andrew, this is amazing. Thank you so much for sending these in. I, I must point out I haven't asked Andrew to send these in, um, but I'm really glad he has. Aren't they just amazing? I really do adore the Amtrak livery. It is one of my favourite liveries. Do you know the film Home Alone? You must do. Come on. I mean, even aliens out in out of space know the film Home Alone. In Home Alone, that bit where Macaulay Culkin has just stolen the toothbrush and he's running home. There's a there's a scene in that where he there's a scene there where he runs over this bridge, I think. Or, well, he, no, I think he runs along the side of a railway and then goes over a bridge or something like that. But there's a train, there's a train coming down the line at that point, and I'm pretty sure it's an Amtrak train in Amtrak livery, and it is absolutely amazing. I have loved that scene in that film all my life. I really have. Yes, thank you so much, Andrew, for sending these in. They really are incredible. I cannot wait to do some videos on them. I really can't. Don't worry, they're in good hands. They're safe, they're sound. The right crew works. Um, I'll get videos done on them as soon as possible. We'll put a little bit of oil on them to make sure that they run beautifully. We'll get them filmed. They can go onto the new test layout. And then, once that's all done, I'll package them all up again, nice, safe and sound, and then get them sent back across the pond. <laughs> right, okay, it's nearly seven o'clock, so I better go get this edited, get it all done and uploaded, um, and then go, <laughs> go do dinner. Once again, thank you for sending in all of this stuff. It's, it just, it, it honestly does, it blows me away every single time. And don't worry if you haven't seen what you've sent in yet. I'm sure it's here, and I'm sure it's safe and sound. It's just a case of getting to it. Okay, so we've got more videos coming up. We're definitely going to try and get a workshop Wednesday up on Wednesday. But it's obviously close to Christmas though, so I won't promise anything, but I'm going to try. We've got another killer review for you on Friday, so that's going to be really good. And then, well, after that it's Christmas, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a few Christmas specials I've got planned, so look out for those. I'm going to show you the new layout. Um, you're going to help me design a new test layout. Uh, there's the competition coming up where you can win the Merklin set. Um, there's even the competition where you can win the Blue Rapier set from ages ago, if anybody remembers that. But that's linked in with the new layout, which is why I haven't done it yet. Um, Brody got his wagon. <laughs> Everyone's fine, everything's happy. Right. I'll go crack on then. Thank you for watching and see you soon. This train terminates here. Please ensure that you take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. Thank you for traveling with us today. Hey peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.